given amiodarone with a burette set. What we're going to need is a bag of D5W, a burette set, 60 drop burette set, and then we'll need the amiodarone and a syringe to give it. We're going to spike the bag like we would any bag. There'll be a bag of D5W, a thumb wheel, the metered dose chamber, the drip chamber, and the line that goes to the patient with the second thumb wheel. We'll open the first thumb wheel to allow for a little bit of fluid into the metered chamber, squeeze and get a little bit of fluid into the drip chamber, and then open the thumb wheel that goes to the patient to drain all the air out. Once the air is drained from the line, close off the line to the patient. Now we'll need to give put 100 milliliters into the meter chamber to give our amniodarone. Our amniodarone is going to be dosed 150 milligrams and 100 milliliters of D5W. To get the 100 milliliters, we'll open the thumb wheel between the D5W and the meter dose chamber. Once we get 100 milliliters, we'll turn off the thumb wheel between the D5W and the metered dose chamber. Now we need to add the amiodarone. This will be the medication port. If it's yellow, it will require a needle. If it's the white and blue, it will require no needle. This case, we'll use no needle. Draw up the amiodarone as you would any medication. There's three milliliters in here. That's 150 milligrams and three milliliters. For our burette, we will not need a needle, so we can discard that in the sharps container. Make sure all the air is out of our syringe, and as you see, we have three milliliters. We will inject that into our medication port, which is the port beside the D5W thumb wheel. Inject the three milliliters slowly. Amiodarone tends to bubble up, so we will inject it slowly. To mix our medicine, we'll do a couple tips. You do not want to shake it or the amiodarone will bubble up. Now we have our correct dose of amiodarone in 100 milliliters. We will open the thumb wheel to the patient to allow for it to drain. In our drip chamber, we'll see the drips, and that's how we count to see how much amiodarone is given so we give the correct amount over the 10 minutes.